Hi, this is Sogi Penev, owner broker of Penev Realty Advisors, and today we're going to talk about how to deal with global offers. So um, I'd like to give you my three ways of um, handling situations when uh, an offer comes that it's way below this price. Uh, but before I go to these three situations, I want to let you know that the first rule of any offer is respond. Do not ignore any offer from any buyer, that no matter what the price is, you have to respond uh, verbally or in writing. That's It's a must do. So the first situation when you get a low ball offer, what I do is, let's say the property is listed at 225 and the offer comes at 190 and the seller says, okay, I'm ready to take the 190. What I do is suggest to the seller, before we go and take the 190, let's do one more try to go down to 205 or 210 so we can test the market, see if there's anything um, better than the 190 we can get and that's about for a week and usually when we drop that to 205 to 10 we always get multiple offers and bid them up to about 210 which it's always better scenario for the seller all right so second scenario when you get a lowball offer a good tactic is so let's say um, the uh, the property is at 225 and the offer comes at 190 but um, you know that the buyer is serious. They're just trying to negotiate hard to get you low, low price. What you do is you counter, but you counter very close to the list price. If it's listed at 225, you counter it 223, 500. So this way you can show this, um, the buyer that you, you, you're a tough negotiator, you stick to your price, and you just want to see how high they, they will come on their offer to see if they're really serious about buying it. Okay, so the, the, the third way that I deal with global offers, it's, it's a little controversial, but it sometimes works. So let's say um, the property is listed at 225 and the agent calls you and says, we're going to submit an offer for 190 So what do you want to, it looks like the agent is trying to negotiate the price way, way below. So in this way, you want to take off the agent off balance and the buyer off balance by not even going into negotiations. So what do you do is just say, hey, I appreciate the offer, but I don't think this is the right property for you guys. I think you should move on and find something else. So this way, you're going to see if the buyer is really serious about coming up on the price or they're just really just trying to see if they're going to get a good deal or and move on. So there's... Um, other ways to deal with multiple offers, there's a lot of negotiating tricks that you can use. Uh, if you're uh, looking to sell and look, uh, you need a good negotiator, please give us a call. We'll be happy to show you what we can do to list and sell your property. Thanks. I'll see you next time.